Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay. <clears throat> so you've got the Attic card over here and this is about, um, you know, reviewing the past, going back into old information, looking for answers or solutions um, you know, in your past experiences in order for you to sort through problems. You've got the nourishing, um, sorry, the, the nighttime cards over here. And this is about seeking the truth. You can see all these people have got eyes in, you know, on their bodies. Uh, this is looking and doing some research. So you might be involved in something where you're research, researching a lot, uh, you know, dig, digging into the archives to find some information as well. You're certainly working with a lot of past energy or you're looking for answers or solutions. Uh, and you're also being guided in some sort of way over here. Uh, there's also somebody giving you a lot of advice as well. So you might be in involved in a project where you're researching, uh, but this is also about maybe you're going back into your own past um, to look for answers to, to uh, solve problems that you've been going through. Now you've got the sculpting card of yours, so you're working pretty hard. You're very, very focused on your work and focused on your career. And you have, uh, you know, the right tools in hand. And this is where all your attention is going on. So this particular research or um, whatever you're digging into from the past may be something that is very, very work related, uh, as opposed to being of an emotional or uh, nature, of a personal nature. So you might be doing some kind of work where it involves uh, going back and doing a lot of research. And, you know, um, you can see there's a lot of eyes being activated over here. So doing a lot of, uh, you know, research into the past. And the, uh, in the past, you've got the flirting card and you've got the keys. So this might be a collaboration that you've made uh, or this might be a new relationship. There might be somebody that you're interested in on the emotional or uh, personal level. Uh, and there's been a lot of uh, flirting going on, really. So uh, somebody that you're quite um, taken with uh, and it might be somebody that you even work with. Uh, there's the keys over here. So you are looking for something. There's some kind of information that you're looking for. Um, it seems that you do, you're looking for the key to open the door. So there's some kind of um, problem that you're trying to solve. And maybe this is why you're doing your research or you're trying to, uh, maybe you're even doing research if you're trying to write a book, uh, but you're definitely doing, uh, um, you know, you're delving uh, into uh, the archives or looking into some kind of old information to find, um, you know, the answers there. Now, going into the future, you've got uh, the fishing card over there and the aiding card. So the fishing card is about emotional fulfillment coming in for you. Uh, something that's going, that is coming in is going to make you very, very happy. You've got the fish jumping out of the water over there. So this uh, new thing or whatever you're doing, it's going to bring you a lot of emotional satisfaction over there. Uh, it's almost abundant emotional satisfaction that is coming in over there. Um, now, the fish in the norm, it actually means money. So this could also be financial abundance coming in, uh, you know, quite a lot of it as well. Uh, you've got the aiding card. So, you know, there's about assistance, maybe you giving somebody financial assistance or even somebody giving you some assistance as far as your work goes, um, you know, make, allowing you or investing in you uh, in order for you to produce, um, you know, something brand new. Now, it looks like whatever this research is you're doing is going to generate a lot of finances or generate... Um, you know, a lot of emotional satisfaction. And it means that, you know, uh, you, there's somebody also taking you under their wing, somebody helping you out as well in this particular situation. Uh, and it's something very different, something run off the mill, uh, because you can see this is a very strange looking insect over here. Um, and it looks like, um, you know, um, whatever you're doing is very different. Uh, but whatever it is that comes to light is going to generate a lot of abundance. Like I said, it could be financial abundance because there's a lot of fish here. Um, and that usually signifies money. So you're doing something very different, very groundbreaking, but it's going to generate a lot uh, of abundance for you. So those are the energies for those two week for that week. So I'm just going to use the Tarot Lenormand for the main read.
the bottom of the deck you've got the knave of pentacles so there's a message coming in about finances over here this could be a new avenue of study that you want to do uh but this is about focusing on the fi on the money and this is about maybe learning something new or you know working very hard to generate that finance and uh, some news coming in about it and the card below it is the death card so it looks like you've let go of an old situation uh this man's head is being chopped off so it looks like you've uh, whether you like it or not, you've had to let go of that situation. It looks like maybe you're looking for a new job and messages coming in about that. Uh, so you've been putting out maybe your CV or you've been actively seeking new work. You might even be thinking of doing or, you know, taking on new study as well to do this new job. So whatever problems you've had, you've needed, you need to be strategic about it. And that is the only way you're going to be overcoming whatever this obstacle is. Uh, you know, uh, you are sitting and waiting for change to come, but you need to be very strategic and, um, you know, uh, be very confident in how you handle things. There is an offer coming in over here. It's a four of cups. There's an offer coming in, and it might be an offer for further study as far as your career goes. So with that page of, um, or the knave of pentacles, this implies new study coming in as well, or further training. And also with that four of cups, it's an offer that comes in. Maybe you don't really want to do it, but it looks like it's going to be coming in. And this off offers you that opportunity to improve your skill set and Im improve, uh, you know, your lot in life by studying. This also means that you have to be very strategic in how you do things. So be planned up. Uh, think of the long term, make long term plans. So you've got the five of pentacles over here. So this has been going through a really financial, uh, you know, a lot of financial problems, really, and trying to stash money away, really. Or even, uh, you know, you've been uh, maybe uh, using up your savings. This could be, you know, because this man's hidden this money and now he's having to pull it out of the water. So it looks like whatever problems you went through uh, caused, uh, you know, it's eaten into your sa savings. Uh, you've had to actually use that uh, in order for you to move forward. And maybe this is why you're now actively seeking uh, new work over there. Now, you've got that Knight of Swords over here. So there might have been some kind of legal decision that you faced um, with that uh, Knight of Swords. Or there might have been, you know, there, were, there was something legal that involved uh, that you were, um, you were waiting for a legal decision to come in or maybe you're waiting for a legal decision to come in with that Knight of Swords. Um, so whatever issues that you had, maybe you've end, maybe um, the job that you had, you've ended up losing it and there were some legal implications over there. So you've been waiting for some news about that. Uh, you've got the emperor over there, so he's definitely waiting for a legal decision. The emperor is about, uh, you know, it's called ruled by Archangel Michael, and it's usually waiting for legal decisions to come in. So whatever has happened um, has caused a lot of financial loss for you. You're waiting for to hear about legal news or legal decisions, and you're waiting for some kind of judgment to be passed as well. You're trying to get control over your finances as well. So you're really skint at the moment, and you're trying to, to get a handle on that finances as well. You are hanging in there with that strength card over there, uh, and it looks like some new offer will come in uh, for you. So going into the future, you've got the four of wands. So you do need to network. You need to put yourself out there. You need to put out, you know, communicate with a lot of people and, uh, you know, present yourself. You will get victory from that. So you do, you will get, uh, you know, people that are interested in what you have to offer. It will mean uh, working with a group of people as well. Uh, but you do need to network in order for you to get some success. You will get some news as well. So you've got the Six of Wands over here, some good news coming in over here. So provided that you network, put yourself out there, put your CV out there, uh, you know, present yourself as somebody who is capable and you know, show people your skills and talents, it looks like good news will be coming in with that Six of Wands. It's victory and success. And this in this deck, it's about uh, you know, um, good news coming in, a uh, message coming in uh, that will be quite successful. So you need to keep going, but put yourself out there, network, collaborate with people, do your research. Um, and, uh, you know, whatever offer it is that comes in, accept it because it might just be a stepping stone to get you to where you need to get. Uh, you can make decisions afterwards, but we'll get you out of a sticky financial situation. That's for sure. But there's definitely victory coming in after going through a whole lot of problems. You've got uh, the Ace of Swords over here. So whatever legal um, issue that you are waiting to come uh, waiting for whatever legal decision you're waiting for, especially even with that emperor card, it looks like there's going to be victory on your side. So you're going to be, um, you know, victorious in it. It's going to whatever that decision is, it's going to go in your favor with this ace of swords there. 
So you are faced with that crossroads, you know, you're at uh, a crossroads in your life right now. You're waiting for the universe to align itself to give you that opportunity, but you are face being, uh, you know, are facing a big decision, and maybe you're worried about which way you should be going. So you, there are some choices that are available for you, and you're trying to make a decision on how to move forward. You've got the Knight, uh, the King of Cups over there, the Fool, and you've got the Ace of Cups. So there is somebody around you that you can go and get some advice from with that King of Cups. This might also be an opportunity for new, further learning or studying, or even taking on a teaching role with this King of Cups. So this might be the way to go in order for you to move forward. If it's not that, then it is about getting advice from somebody and some good solid advice. This might be professional advice, but this might be also from somebody that you can trust with this King of Cups energy there. You'll have to make a brand new start, it seems, or you're going to be making a brand new start and moving on. Uh, you know, you can see this man's even lost his shoes. So you have had quite a lot of loss. You're going to be starting off afresh, making a brand new start. There's somebody there that's going to be showing you the way, and it might be this King of Cups uh, that's going to be giving you that advice in order for you to move forward. It looks like an offer is going to be made as well to you, and taking that offer is going to allow you to make a brand new beginning. Um, and that offer might involve further study or further education. And you've got that Ace of Cups, so there's definitely that brand new start that is coming in for you there. You can it's a child or a baby angel over there so uh, you know you will be able to make um, you know make a start and you will be um, you know you're being guided to do this there's a lot of uh, people that are supporting you you can see the clouds are parting so whatever this new offer is even though you're a bit reluctant to actually consider it uh, it is the best it might be the best thing for you do your research just don't make decisions haphazardly it's a new cup that's being offered so this king of cups is offering the Ace of Cups, and then there's the Ace of Cups, which is the beginning of something brand new that's going to bring you, um, you know, a lot more emotional satisfaction, but it's also maybe the opportunity to start some uh, further learning or training or even teaching, and it's going to allow you to move away from the thing that caused you all this loss, uh, and it's going to give you that independence as well. So whatever this brand new start is, um, you know, it is an offer coming in over there. You've got that Four of Cups over there. It's well worth considering. You, you will need to network, uh, communicate uh, with a lot of people, um, and some good news will come off it. There will be success as well. And whatever legal issues you are facing, it looks like there is victory that comes in with that. So you are actively seeking work over there with that Knave of Pentacles, and it looks like whatever that offer is that comes in, uh, it's going to be, you know, it's going to end up as being something really good. We've got the Ace of Spring, so this is a brand new thing that's being offered to you, a new project, uh, uh, you know, a, a wonderful new opportunity presents itself. It might ha come as a surprise, but you will still want to leap into action and passionately pursue every possibility. <laughs> so this is a new mood over there, and it looks like somebody is going to be giving you that offer, that new opportunity, and you it's something that you need to embrace. You need to accept it. You've got the Four of Summer. This is another card where that new offer is being given to you. Uh, your responsibilities might distract you from noticing all the gifts that God is presenting to you. Be open to inv investigating opportunities that come your way. So this is a new opportunity that you may not see or you may not want, but it is going to be something that's really, really good. Um, and it's being offered to you, and you know there is that also that possibility of even retraining to do this job. The Two of Summer says, um, you know, um, partnerships, um, there's partnerships that come in over here and you shouldn't give up if there is a failing partnership uh, but it also says there's a deepening of emotions in a current relationship now with the two of summer it's the two of cups it looks like there is somebody that is going to be around there uh, to support you so this could be a new business partnership or somebody giving you a, a helping hand uh, out of a difficult situation with that two of uh, summer so whatever this offer is that is coming in for you, it's going to be really good. It's going to allow you to make a brand new start. Uh, and it might be unexpected, this opportunity, and it might be some from somebody that you know. Also, it will mean that, you know, that new partner, it will um, mean that you'll be working with somebody uh, and that new partnership would be really, really good. It would be something that uh, you enjoy and something that is very supportive. This person is very supportive of you, this new partnership. So there is that good news coming in with that Six of Wands. There is victory coming in for you. Um, and there is even victory as far as any legal issues. This could also be signing new contracts as well. So there's definitely something there uh, that is coming in for you. But don't ignore it and don't disregard it. 
uh, make sure that you accept it. Uh, like I said, if it's not the thing that you really want right now, it might be a stepping stone to something better. So I hope this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.